piece of shit. Thirty piece of shit. Thirty thirty. <laughs> The reason oh, I get 100k now is just because I'm like, I won't do it unless I get it. Because I know my worth. Like, See, the thing is, I can't adjust my worth to the time. Because if I adjust my worth to the time, it's going to take forever to just reach that. So I'm just like, yo, I'm like, fuck it, I'm running it up. My name hot, and they're they going to pay it if they want me. So if they don't want me, they it depends on how bad they want me. Because I'm going to bring out like 5,000 people. And it's with everyone. I love everyone. I sound shallow when I'm saying that, but it's not. It, that's not even what it is. It's just myself as like as a being. I just represent the equilibrium of the universe in itself. You just have to understand your purpose and understand that you are a divine being. So in my preachings or in what I'm gonna be, eventually everyone will come to know of what I'm trying to teach or what I was, and will love me. It won't be now. Probably be after I die. But, <laughs> mm, probably like 25. Probably like 25, 27. <laughs> I bond people through loyalty. Like, I've just, I just have such an immense love, and like, just an immense. Everybody's in love with me, whether they realize it or not. I just, I care about the loyalty of the people. Like, it's not gonna be, like, the way I look at it is, if I was enslaved again, are my fans gonna have my back? Is there gonna be riots? Is there gonna be people trying to storm? Like, if I ever got, like, I don't even want to put that out there. But if I was ever like, like, in danger or put in a situation that I should not be in. Who's going to actually have my back? Who's going to break me out of whatever I'm in? You know what I'm saying? Sure. I don't think they'll want me to be alive while my kid's alive. Because if, if, if we are, then I'll just rule the earth. Because it's all genuine energy, bro. I'm a very genuine person, if you haven't noticed. Like, I can't be fake. It's not in me. I won't say anything about someone that I wouldn't say to their face. And if they don't like it, then it is what it is. But I'm the type of nigga to, to pretty much say it, like what's on my mind. And if someone can't appreciate that, then they're really not a good person. Yeah, fuck that. What's the point? Then I'm not an artist. Then I'm a conformist. Because the full visual hasn't come out. So I like that they hate me for now. Because then I'm conforming to the, everyone else's ideals. And that's not an artist. It's being able to know that Everyone's judgment doesn't matter because in the end of the day, you are you and you are the art. When you let someone else's vision basically portray what you are, then you're not really art. You're a puppet. <laughs> I'm on some next shit. Like, like nobody, nobody is really picturing the bigger picture. But it's going to basically, like I said, I'm, my whole center of existence is the equilibrium. I don't believe, I believe in yin and yang. I believe that one cannot exist without the other, and unless unless we learn to know that and appreciate the idea of yin and yang, we will basically be so fucking <laughs> void-minded yeah. that we will create a void on this planet, and then we're gonna just ruin the game for the future and ruin the game for all of us. And then I'll soon it like people don't even have the mind to realize that, bro. This is your world, and what uh, we're also living in someone else's world. We're gonna fuck around and let these dumbasses that rule our fucking planet, my nigga, create hell for all of us that we don't deserve. Yeah. So unless people really take power for themselves, bro, I feel like they matter. Unless people really get the fuck off the internet and start paying attention to what's going on in their life, the energy you apply is gonna be towards nothing. I've been aware. I've just never cared to speak on it because I don't want I don't want anybody feeling like they have to target me or kill me to, <laughs> for speaking the truth. And I'm not with that. I'm not willing to put myself and my family at risk just for the ex exposement. But I say things that have, uh, have already been published before. And like, but I like I, I, I'm ahead. I just don't express it. There's no need to because I just I do things behind the scenes that people aren't even aware of that I do. Mm, um. A judgmental perspective, um, I understand it. It's not ignorant, but it is ignorant at the same time because, for one, who the fuck are you to judge me? Because behind closed doors, for all I know, you rape women. For all I know, you beat your wife. For all I know, you mentally neglect your own mother. For all I know, you do horrible things to the people around you. You know what I'm saying? Confor like, mm. like the re regardless of what everyone's assumption is on that situation i mean obviously like i can understand <clears throat> like to put it in a, a broad perspective violence period is not okay violence period like i don't stand for violence anymore at all period like i just think it's pointless because if someone doesn't respect your mind then they just don't respect you as a being so then you just agree to go your separate ways 
but I feel like him as a man, especially being, he's probably like in his like 30s, right? Him, him as a man probably being in like his 30s to judge a 19-year-old before making an educated assumption and before like thoroughly judging, like thoroughly <clears throat> getting information and going through the full perspective of my situation, judging beforehand is a pretty pussy thing to do. Like, and I don't, <clears throat> I don't really care for i don't really like and that's just a general thing like if you're gonna judge before like understanding something then you're you're a weak person you're not smart you can't if you can't put yourself in the shoes of someone else then you're not a smart person i i have a history of mental neglection towards women yes mental as far as like i always felt the need to want to control a woman i always felt the need to want to like to like i guess confine them and like I want to control them, but now, like, as I've evolved as a human being and, like, just being locked up for even things that I didn't do, like, on some shit, like, it's made me fully appreciate the freedom of a woman and made me understand feminine energy to the point to where, yeah, I'm like this. You know what I'm saying? But, like, it's like, yeah, it's, uh, I'm not being shallow at all when I do that, but I'm just saying, like, the reality of that, it's, it's turned so much to where... I naturally compel women because I understand the freedom of feminine energy and understand that like constricting anything is or, 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 or sorry refining anything is never a good thing ever like just period I always felt them I always felt the need to control but I always felt the need to control off of being scared off of being insecure off of like not feeling like I was enough I always felt that need but the sooner you realize that your center of being is what's important, if you're not a centered being, that nothing is going to come to you, that what you want, you look, and you think, know the importance of being like centered around yourself, and then you know the importance of like the fact that only you can comfort you. I don't make endless like void material. I'm not like, like no offense to to, to other rappers, but I'm not like I'm not like I'm not like Little Uzi. Like a Little Uzi can go make songs. And like drop them, you know what I'm saying? And have no like intent behind them. They'll just write them to drop them, just on some soft shit. Like I don't be on that. Like I like everything I write is very conscious, and I do everything for a reason. Even if it doesn't take effect immediately, I do everything for a reason. Everything. So like my whole my whole center of nature. Like if you go to my old shit, like I've got songs about raping priests and doing crazy shit. People don't really dabble into it. Like, I got a song called The Lone Part 2 where I talk about the darkest thoughts of my mind or different realms of realities that I've, that I've lived that I felt like I was, that I've, when I felt like I was a demon. Like, I take you from the darkness and elevate you into a light. Hold on. What happened? She just wants to make sure that she's going to have a ride tomorrow. Yeah, you, you good. Yeah, you good. You're going to have a ride. Yeah, you good. But I take you, I take you to the darkest parts of your mind, and then help you elevate outside of your mind on a different vibration that's not really corny. People like to call it corny, but it's the truth. I say things that people don't want to say, and there's like other artists that do that. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate those artists because I've been inspired by like a lot of people, and have willed me towards being honest. You know what I'm saying with my music? But I just feel like the whole pro the whole process of elevation and evolution is the most important thing. I feel like I can help people ascend from darkness. Like, and that's what I, my music has been. Cause there's not anything that, you, like, you can, you can go listen to certain artists, and then you can't get what you want from them. You can't listen to me and not get what you want. Cause if you want some soft shit, okay, go listen to OK Shorty. If you want some serious shit, go listen to Seventeen. If you want some dark demonic shit, go listen to my old shit. Go listen to Alone Part Two. If you want some super rap conscious shit, go listen to Riot or Rare Part Two. There's nothing that I can't do. I can do everything. I'm the king. I'm the king of music. I don't give a fuck with anything. I'm a genius until I'm dead. It's fire. It's like super fire. Because no one's gonna realize I'm a genius until I'm dead. No one's gonna realize the role I took was divine. Was very, very divine. That I'm helping people's minds and putting their energy somewhere that they didn't re like. Cause they're no matter how you look at it, your void energy, your bad energy goes somewhere. It doesn't just revolve around you, bro. It goes to the world for the world to eat. So people don't realize that their state of mind is affecting the universe in itself. So all I'm doing is unifying people's mind, minds and putting their energy somewhere else. Instead of being, like, I, I'd much rather people be sad all the time than being fucking angry and destroying the earth. 
I'd rather, I'd much rather bring you down to ground level than have you on such a fucking power binge. Like a, like, like I went from being crazed to, to slowing down and really realizing and theor, like theorizing everything before I did it and realizing that how, how powerful my energy is and how powerful my music is to just add on to the equilibrium. I want the equilibrium to exist for, I, I want it, I don't want it to end. And the world does not have to end if the human minds can get themselves together. It, uh, I'm on some weird shit, bro. I, I, but I don't stand for empowerment of anything except equity. I don't give a fuck about anyone's personal views or opinions or anything. The whole thing is the equilibrium. Equity and keeping everything maintained. And that's why I kind of fuck with the government, if you want me to be honest. Like, I, like there was a point where I learned about the truths of what is hidden from certain minds and things that aren't supposed to, like, that thing that pe- that are for people to see, like in the clear in, in plain sight, and I understand why it's hidden because certain people should not have access to certain knowledge because if they get access to certain knowledge, they have access to certain power, and then it throws the equilibrium off. It throws the the equity of the earth in itself off its axis. So that's why, like you notice, like energies affect the work, the, like the world in itself. Like nigga, our planet will go into retrovert at random times or we'll get like time changes that we're like bro it just be weird shit going on that people don't understand because they don't understand what they're doing with their fucking energy and nobody realizes how important they are you don't realize like how, that you like, i'm not even gonna say it but nobody realizes how important they are just on some weird shit like bro, like people think i'm stupid but i'll, I'll just play stupid i like it because i'm not i don't want to be a king i want to be a joker i'm okay with being the jack or the joker that video is going to equalize everything it's going to open a lot of people's eyes and it's going to literally put me at the center of earth they're not on my wavelength yet but my music is going to bring them there i'm anointed i'm anointed that role but it's i'm not going to take the i'm not going to take the role because i don't want to control anyone a king is made to control and to navigate i can only give the advice i'd like to be someone's brother before i'd like to be their leader because there's more respect in that and there's no need to, to declare mutiny. I don't want to work myself in the image of the Messiah because I don't want to be crucified for anyone. You I, don't... Think everybody, I think everybody needs to just fucking relax. <laughs> and, anybody, and, I, and if you ask me, I think anyone that doesn't want to relax, I think we should fucking kill them. I think we should knock them off. They treat me like God, yeah. yeah. But I, fu- I fuck with it because like... The, like no one gets to see the Christian God. <laughs> no gets, like no one, no one gets to see like God. Like people gamble their lives with a God they cannot see. Uh huh. So the reality of, is, of it is, like as a superstar, I'm the closest thing they get to see of an outer world, like an out- otherworldly energy. Because it's it, what nobody realizes is the energy being my mind, my soul. My soul energy is what they want to feel. Because my mind and my thought process is so diverse and so weird that my energy attracts these people. And that's what it is to be a superstar. You have to have outer worldly energy or have a thought process like no other. And that's how people are attracted to you because then they're naturally they're naturally compelled to you. If you don't have naturally compelling energy, then you really are just you're just not vibrant. You're not on the the wave of the of the universe in itself. You're not a child of infinity. No, I love them to death. I wish I I want them to be more considerate of what they do and be more mindful when they when they fucking like rush like rush my car and break my side windows and shit. But <laughs> it's 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 okay. Like like I like I can't complain. I feel like you don't fuck with. I feel like you don't fuck with anybody though. But like I like see the thing is like with me. I'm a very, I don't want to call him ingenuine because I, I haven't met him, so I don't want to make that assumption, nor would I throw that disrespect on anyone's name. But I feel like I'm the type of person where I'm very, I'm very personal. Like, I like to, like, when I work with people, I like to fuck with people, or if I do something, it's for a higher purpose. So really and truly, like, I did that song just for the sake of the fact that I felt like it was unifying energies in Florida and, like, really capitalizing because the whole Atlanta movement was just that like Atlanta rappers were fucking with each other keeping it going and like motivating each other like you know what I'm saying and like there was a system so I felt like doing that because usually what happens is 
Broward rappers or Florida rappers get big, they beef, then they fall off. Mm -hmm. That's what it usually is. Exactly. Because then, like, it's like understanding that everybody's the navigator of their own destiny. The only per the only people that ever become a problem is the one that wants to be the god of everybody. Mm -hmm. The one that feels the need to rule other minds. Why do you feel the need to, to rule uh, someone? That's very insignificant. Your energy should naturally be compelling. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you feel the need to want to empower, like, sorry, empower yourself over someone, and you feel the need to want to hurt someone, or you feel the need to, like, go outside of your own realm into someone else's dimension and fuck with their shit, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> I don't feel the need, like, I don't feel the need to control anyone anymore. Like, I, I don't I don't like it. Like, I, that was the first thing I got out of as soon as I opened my eyes. Be fearless. Be without fear. If you if 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 you're fearful, you'll be controlled. You'll be afraid to go outside. You'll be afraid to do anything. Go outside. Soak up the sun. The more time you spend in the darkness, sometimes there has, like I said, there has to be an there has to be an equalizer. There has to be an equal. You have to understand the process of the equilibrium. You have to maintain the balance. If you don't maintain the balance, then you fall off the axis. And if we fall off the axis, everything as we know it starts to crumble be happy about shit unless i know that the youth gets a chance at a future bro because at this rate bro like the the fucking navigators of our destiny which are being like, the ones that are ruling our country the one like bro like the random fucking hurricane like i'm not i'm sorry random hurricanes and all this crazy shit like some of this shit is not necessary bro so like the endless the mindless war like well, it's all about whose dick is bigger, bigger, really, on some gay shit, bro. Like, on, like, no disrespect to the gays, but, like, on some fucking, like, lower, like, super egotistical manly shit. Like, on some, like, on some real faggotry shit, bro. Like, why do you feel the need to want to overcome anything, bro? Like, on some shit, like, all right, if it's over oil, okay, do that. Stay, keep doing regular war. Don't be on some big nuclear bomb shit. That shit's stupid, bro. You're going to cheat the fucking youth of a chance to live, bro. And, like, on some real shit, like, from all the way from... Because I've been watching the whole Korea thing, like, with, with the bombing and shit, bro. It's like... Like, really and truly, like... Even Kim Jong-un can call himself a real leader if he doesn't take the youth into... Ad, like, doesn't... If he's not going to administer the youth and be, like, a, a, a leader to the youth and inspire the youth to want to maintain the equilibrium, then how are you a leader? How are you a leader if you don't understand the fine line in between? How are you a leader if you feel like you can maintain both or be of one? You have to understand the gray aspect of it because black and white are gray. People don't say there. People say there is nothing but black and white, but really and truly, there's gray. Black and white make gray. So if you don't understand the gray process of it, then then how can you call yourself a leader? So that's just just my outlook on it. I won't be happy unless human minds understand the gray so we can move forward and reach the futuristic point of perspective because i even i was even watching this ronald reagan um he was he was he was speaking he was speaking about he was like to be honest he doesn't feel like the humans would unify themselves unless we were working uh, unless we were fighting an out-of-worldly being he feels like the, the humans would not unify themselves unless we're fighting something outside of this planet. And he says, who, who's to say that there is nothing already here on some weird shit? You'll notice it, though. Like, like after, this, after we finish this conversation, you'll find yourself trying to control things around you that don't need to be controlled. I didn't will. I didn't have parents. I didn't have someone's... Like, bro, your parents like, can be your biggest blessing, but they can be your biggest curse because I didn't have someone trying to mold me. I was molded by the universe in itself. I was a spawn for the universe. It was weird. Like, you can probably see it in my eyes. That, like, nigga, there was a time where I was dark. Like, my eyes were dark. Like, it was a, there was a darkness in me, bro. Okay, now, nah, it was because I was thrown into the universe, bro. To figure, to, like, understand the energy and understand everything around me. Like, on some weird shit. And it made me who I was. My pain molded me. It, it, like, bro, I was, I was pressured and pressured and pressured until, like, I, I found the diamond. But it's not my diamond is not even even my vessel. My diamond is not my physical being because I don't even publicize my physical being. I publicize my mind, my state of mind. My state of mind is what's important. 
Yeah, I thought she, cause she said she said yes to fucking G easy. I was like, yo, why wouldn't you fuck? Why wouldn't you fuck me? But you fuck G. Bro. Everybody just needs to fucking relax, bro. Like I like really and truthfully, bro. Like everybody just gotta fucking chill, bro. And anybody that doesn't want to chill, we should just fucking kill them, bro. I'm dead ass serious, bro. Bro, we <laughs> we all have to come together as one because we all are are one and just see what the fucking problem is. And then usually it's just one fucking idiot, bro. I ain't gonna call no names. I'm on that. Le- I'm on that level to where if what I say out my mouth can affect me. I ain't gonna call no names, bro. But it's just like it's, it's bigger than Donald Trump. Congress runs the world, bro. Don- if anybody think Donald Trump is anything, bro, he's not, bro. Congress run- runs the world. For Donald Trump to even want to wipe his fucking ass, he has to go to Congress. Now, people don't even know about who's really in Congress. That's what I'm saying. It's not that simple, bro. Mm-hmm. Okay. Government official, you you know what the government is, but you've never seen them. And there's government officials that you will never see. Yeah, yeah don't don't um don't suck dick while you're out there. All right, I see I see a lot of a lot of vloggers turning gay and shit. Don't be one of those. <laughs> exactly, it goes deeper than just the eye, bro. It goes deep deeper than the physical plane, bro. You gotta realize the government is very, very fucking smart. And they're smart for a reason. Because there's people in the government that wanna maintain what we've maintained for so long. Maybe corrupt people, but there's good people. Just like there's good in the world, there's evil.